Love Monster by Rachel Bright. This is a monster. Hello, monster. I think you'll agree he's a little bit funny looking to say the least. He lives in a world of cute, fluffy things, which makes being funny looking pretty darn hard. This is an official pile of extreme cuteness. You might have noticed that everybody loves kittens and puppies and bunnies. You know, cute, fluffy things. But nobody loves a slightly hairy, I suppose a bit googly-eyed monster. Poor monster. This might be enough to make a monster feel, well, a bit down in the dumps. But not being the moping around sort, he decided to set out and look for someone who'd love him, just the way he was. He looked high. He looked low. He looked middle-ish. There's a tumbleweed. He looked inside and outside. More than once he thought maybe, just maybe, he'd found what he was looking for. But as it turned out, things were never quite as they seemed. Yes, it would be fair to say that his search did not go well. And then it didn't go well some more. It didn't go well for such a long time, in fact that it began to get dark and scary and, well, not very nice. So the monster, having lost all his oomph, decided it was time to give up and go home. But in the blink of a googly eye, everything changed. You see, sometimes when you least expect it, love finds you and that's the end thanks for listening to chomp stories